Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to my channel. Here is your Divine Masculine and Feminine um, Twin Flame Energy reading. Um, I'll be using uh, a few decks here. We got um, Angel uh, Answers. What is it? Yeah, Angel Answers, The Hidden Truth Oracle, Twin Flame Journey Oracle, Romance Angels. These are uh, Ascended Master, different spiritual leader cards. And uh, this one is the trans Transmissions from Your Soul cards and the Chakra Reading cards. So we'll get started. I just wanted to have all these together just to show you. Try to keep them. Um, so we'll start with the Twin Flame Journey Oracle cards here. Not much of a shuffler. First card we have is Karmic Partner. So maybe your Twin Flame is dealing with a Karmic Partner. separation so maybe your energy is focused on yeah there's a lot here with like separation so we have karmic partner separation and fear and then we have free will So these are all like, you know, cards that are not aligned with the divine. And I think it's just time to recognize that, yeah, pride and ego, there you go. So I think it's time for you to recognize um, your divinity. What I get from these cards here, we have karmic partner, we have separation. We have fear. Free will. Pride and ego. So what I get from this is that you both are holding on to the past and fearing the future. But it's like, there's this story of like, oh, I'm not going to budge, you know, on like within my own pride and my own ego. I, I want to hold on to ego. I want to hold on to the illusion of um, me being right or me needing to control this situation. Um, of course, we all have free will, this free will card coming up, but in truth, there is no free will. You're only aligned to heaven's consciousness. You're only aligned to the divine. So this karmic relationship and this upset and fear around the separation that you're encountering with your twin, um, it's time to refocus your energy and just realign to love. Focus on the love that's present in your heart right now. Focus on the, um, the truth that your relationship with your twin flame is only a relationship with yourself. So there's nothing for you to worry about. Um, yeah, there's nothing for you to fear. Fearing what others think or fearing judgment or like all these things. Like it comes down to you being with God, you having a relationship with your creator and relaxing into that. You don't have to overthink it, overpower yourself with anything other than love. And you'll never overpower yourself with love. And of course, there's going to be feelings that don't feel so lovely, that don't feel so good. But 
you have to face these feelings about your person, whether they're with someone else or not. You're not going to have the relationship that you desire with them if you're, you know, constantly waiting. It's not about waiting, it's about taking action. And as a, a certified Ascension coach, I can help you um, really identify where you need to take action in your life. So please book a session with me. My introductory sessions are $45 currently. Um, the link is in the description. So, yeah. It's about taking action through all of this old, all of this separation, and just letting that wash away. Now I wanna pull a few more cards from the same deck because I, I wanna get to the new energy. What is coming when this is healed, right? We have Muse. We have vibrations and balancing the scales. I'm a Libra. Maybe it's a personal reading here. <laughs> of course it is, right? One more card. There you go. Nostalgia. So th these, are, this is perfect because first off, I can relate. Second off, it just makes sense as like the next layer. So we have Muse. So it's about stepping into your life purpose work, uh, creating and, you know, designing your um, dream reality through opening up your creativity and your dream person. Um, allow them to be illustrated into your consciousness. Allow God to show you what's real for you and vibrations so through meditation through you know inner work using the mirror exercise you're always growing your vibration you're ascending your consciousness into a deeper alignment with the divine so yeah keep you know focusing on your healing and that's what's enabling you to balance the scales that's what's enabling you to balance your consciousness and to understand what's real for you understand what's what's true and the next card we have is understanding because that's what's happening you're understanding your journey your journey is unique to you and your twin flame and it's through going within as you can see it's like a very spiritual card like as it's like you go in and the light shines upon you and the final card we have is nostalgia so it's like past memories and heartbreak that you're still holding on to but just let yourself live in the present moment there is no you know I read a nice message in A Course in Miracles that was really speaking about the present moment is all that like the Holy Spirit lives in all that God lives in and ego lives in the future and the past to keep you from the present so it's about loving the the that old energy loving it into a transcended peace a presence i want to tell you how i feel this is the next card that i pulled so these are messages just for you and your twin flame however they resonate so somebody wants to reach out and really share their wisdom or their understanding of the connection that they've been neglecting I lost myself for a little while. So your twin flame's letting you know that they are found, they're with God, they are safe and secure in God. You and I were too young. So there was like an immaturity here. Maybe you guys went through, you know, a lot of just fighting or, you know, intense upheaval or just mirroring that you couldn't handle. But what it's really saying is, is like, we're ready now. 
here's your three messages. We're ready now and we've spiritually matured and inclined into, um, you know, the God and goddess that we were designed to be and the love that we were designed to share. So this feels good. And we have the angel answers here. Just separate these. Move them all around, separate it this way. So you can just ask, you know, source a question. And I'll pull a few cards. So you can ask three questions. And I do personal readings with angel answers, so definitely check out my website. Okay. These are kind of hard for me to like, just go woo, 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 spread out because they're new. Okay. Let go. So God's telling you to surrender. Stop trying to control. Let yourself be with your creator fully. Surrender to the divine. Within the next few months. So that could mean something different for everyone, of course. But you can see there's like a big palace here. So it's like, I think your kingdom will really be aligning. Your palace will really be aligning within the next few months here. Improving health. So you're both focusing on your physical bodies, your mental stability. And that's what's really building the abundance within your one consciousness that you share together. So let yourself keep focusing on healing. Really, this is a very healing driven journey. Most of the journey um, to get into harmonious union is about healing, of course. And it's still after is about healing, but it'll be a lot easier and more sustainable um, as you've really healed those core upsets. And that's what Harmonious Twin Flame Union is, is peace at the core of your union within yourself, your relationship with God. So we have the Ascended Masters, Spiritual Guru deck. I don't know what to call it yet because there are some in here that I believe are not um, Masters, so... Ascended Masters, okay. So I'm gonna use all three of these cards. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> so Sanat Kumara, guide my soul to the ancient scrolls. So this feels like it's about like divine wisdom. See, is this uh, crown chakra really connecting to the um, divine here, the universe? So it's about inner, you know, knowing wisdom. White eagle, I am the doorway of peace. So knowing that you are love, knowing that you are peace. You are what you attract. So focus on being love, because that's who you are, that's what you are. Serapis Bay, I release the creativity from my heart. So more creative energy, stepping into your creative self. Maybe it has to do with your work and really building your business. I know for me, that's a big step that I'm taking in order to really ground my harmonious twin flame union that I still am um, coming into as we all are. Okay, so now I have the chakra reading cards. I'll pull a couple of these. self-mastery and 
We have psychic development and we have rebirth. So this is beautiful energy right now. Self mastery solar plexus. So it's about claiming your power and allowing the divine to really just fill you up and yeah, just for you to let it, um, the divine show you who you are, show you what's real for you. Psychic development, third eye. And that's like building your world. You know, this is your universe to build. So focus where you need to in order to build it and rebirth. You're being reborn into a deeper understanding of your, your purpose, your reason to be here. The love that's ever present within your own consciousness. So the numbers here are 15, 27, and two. If that means anything to anyone, awesome. Um, what I really get from this is like, you're really taking the time to create um, this strong foundation in who you are so that the world can really receive what you have to give. Soul writing. So maybe this is more about creativity, um, writing. Whether that's blogs, poetry, whatever it is, stories, your book, right away. <laughs> Get these cards out. Soul writing. Meditation. So through meditation, you're being given, you know, signs and messages always. You're always being shown who you are. Um, just by releasing your resistance to who you are. And what I mean by that is releasing your resistance to, you know, your mental, uh, analytical, logical mind and letting, letting your heart really be what leads, letting your heart be what fills you so that you can use your logic properly. Because if you're cut off from your feelings and you're constantly in your thinking mind, you're not going to have the proper, um, you know, idea or you're not gonna ha really have the truth. So here's let go. And this is like about like really getting clear with the truth as you see the sword here, you know, the answers are coming, just let go and let them be. I'll, I'll end this reading with the romance angels. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So support is so important on your journey. And, you know, that's what I'm here to do is really to help you. Help assist you um, as an ascension coach to just build a relationship with God, like your personal relationship with God and just help point out the places within you. Um, so we got these three cards. Oh. Um, the places within you that need healing. And that's the whole job of an Ascension coach. And that's why it's important to invest in your support. So the first card is heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So whether you're in separation now or not, um, it's important to connect with your person uh, through your feelings. Because if you're numbing out your feelings, how can you connect? You can't. And you'll feel the misery of separation. 
right? If you're not connecting with your feelings, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So if you're depending on someone to save you, that's not harmonious at all. That's not peaceful. So you have to depend on God and allow yourself to listen. Um, yeah, to God and to really just release your need to depend on another for your own peace or the love within you because it ultimately always comes down to you and we have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So if you've been in separation, this is a nice message to say, hey, you're reconciling with your person, but it's also about reconciling with your divine self. Coming home to God within yourself is what enables your twin flame to come home to you. So waiting on a person is not going to do it. Let's, you know, do the work to create the reconciliation, um, the union that you desire. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. And I'll just do a quick book flip to A Course in Miracles. Um, yeah, and just read a nice passage for you. Here you go. Truth can only be recognized and need only be recognized. Inspiration is of the spirit and certainty is of God according to his laws. Both therefore come from the same source because inspiration comes from the voice for God and certainty comes from the laws of God. Healing does not come directly from God who knows his creations as perfectly whole, but healing is nevertheless of God because it proceeds from his voice and from his laws. It is their result in a state of mind which does not know him. The state is unknown to him and therefore does not exist, but those who sleep are stupefied or better, unaware, and because they are unaware, they do not know. So, what do we get from this message? <laughs> For what I really get is that God only sees you as divine. So it's important to train your mind to only see in that way because that's only what's real. And your healing is an important step and an important um, choice to make in order to attain, you know, Christ consciousness or a perfect dream reality. The, the reality that God created for you to live in fully. And it takes, you know, energy, it takes perseverance and grit to really build that for yourself and to really go in and um, just fully become aware of what's real for you. Mm-hmm. So I guess to just end this, I'd like to share, you know, that my coaching is designed perfectly to help you um, align with that reality that you are perfectly whole and that you are divine and you are uh, safe always and you are to live in a romantic partnership with your twin flame. You are to live in harmonious union, perfect union, and to create your world as it was designed by your creator. So please, definitely visit my website and see all that I offer because I'm here to give you the life of your dreams. I'm here to help you bring your consciousness into its perfectly centered, grounded whole that it was created in. Thank you guys very much for uh, watching and please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'll be doing many more videos and giving much more insight for you. And um, I hope that you all have a wonderful day and many sending many blessings your way on your journey. Um, please reach out and comment below if you have any questions or wanna email me, be sure to do so at guidancewithryan1111 at gmail.com. Thank you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.